Hey guys, it's Kira Arts here and today I'll be doing a small tutorial on how to make an eyeball in Cinema 4D. So, right now, all I have is a simple Lightroom and a simple ball. That's all I have. So, make a new material. I already made one. And drag it over on the sphere. Double click it. And we have our materials editor open. So we can see exactly what's happening on the screen when, when we're changing it. So, for color, we want to have a nice gradient for the actual colors of the eye. So, go to Texture, Gradient, and you have that. Double click it, and here you have it. So an eyeball usually goes from black to green to white, and that green could be actually any color of your iris. So, make any arrangement of colors that you want. So let's have white. I'll make this black. And here, let's model it after my eyes, which are pretty green. So around here. Now we can make that a bit lighter. Make another copy over here. And over there. So make sure you have 2D V selected, because it'll make sure it expands from the center. So right now we have a pretty good eye, but I would say the black is a bit bigger. We can slowly take off that green over there. That looks about right. Now let's put the green right beside the black so there's a fine border. And then let's do the same thing with the white. So we have a pretty good eye already. So right click this and copy it. Now that's already a basic eye, but we want to expand it, expand the concept so we have as other small small details in the actual green. So we're going to use the diffusion channel for this. So go over diffusion and click the little check mark. So for the diffusion we need to we need to apply a couple layers to make some kind of texture only apply on the green. So let's start off by applying a noise. Noise. And right now we have kind of a diseased eye. Not very good to look at. So let's continue and make another layer. Where is it? Layer. There we go. Double click it and here we have it. So let's go to shader and let's click gradient again. So we have the same thing. So double click it, right click, right -click on the gradient and click paste. And we have the same gradient as we had before. Just make sure you choose 2DV again. But how we're going to make it so it only applies to the green is that we're going to use a special filter called screen. Where it's going to let color through only through the dark spots. So we're going to switch the greens for blacks. The whites for whites. The blacks for whites. I'm not sure what I'm saying at this point. And then black. And then this is changed to black. So we have this. So if you go back, right, this button over here, and then you click normal and you change it to screen, this texture is only applied to the green part. So now let's go to this texture and start playing around with it. So I usually use, where is it, fire, which is a pretty cool thing. Then we can change the second thing to a lightish gray. And we already have that. Now we change the relative scale, the first one, way down. So as though it's stretched. Now make sure you go to texture again and you click UV 2D. So you already have this cool texture applied to the eye. Pretty cool. So we can even change it to fire and change it to Naki. And Naki even looks even better for this. Gotta remember that for next time. Worked out pretty good. So, this is pretty much what you have. If you want to make it even fainter, you just control the opacity. So now it's barely visible, mostly black, and the more you increase it, the lighter it gets. So, that's that. But now this eye isn't exactly complete yet. It could still use some work. So, click again, and let's find a reflection. So, reflection, tone it down. And then click texture and we can do Fresnel. 
which adds a bit more realism and you can tone this down as well. So now we have a basic reflection going, which is you know, going to make it more, look more realistic, but it's still not good enough in my opinion. So copy this layer by holding control and just moving it up a bit and you have that. Now to make it look more realistic, or at least in my opinion, I usually add a small glass layer around it. So to do that, you go to simulate cloth and cloth nerves. And you're going to take the, the copied layer and put it under cloth nerves. Now what cloth nerves does, it adds thickness to things. So we take off this, this texture right here, create new material, and we're going to make a quick glass material. So reflection for glass is usually somewhere around here for now. Transparency. No color. Should be looking good. Somewhere right here. And make sure you turn up the refractions so it looks more realistic. I usually go for 1.36. That usually gives a nice effect. 1.33. Whatever floats the boat. So take that off and drag it on. And now we have this thin, thin glass layer. And to make it a bit thicker, you go over here and add the thickness factor. So let's go for two centimeters. That looks nice. So now when you render out your piece, it should add a nice thick glass layer and make it overall better. That's the one I used for my test optical entry. So let's just let our computer load. And remember, if you like the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel and my partner's channel, Cinema 4D Tuts. Also, comment below what you think of the tut, such as ways to improve it and maybe even some tutorial ideas. And if you visit my channel, subscribe and send me a message, I'll be sure to give you my exclusive pack, which is free for subscribers, with 50 color corrections and so much more. It's been Kira Arts, and thanks!